Okay, let's answer some common health questions here in the studio. News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, the chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. As always, we're so glad you're here. We're going to go ahead and get into this. So the first question is kind of an age old question. If you have a strain on your arm or your leg, is it best to do heat or ice? Yeah, you know, very important in the healing process, but if it's not done right, it can actually prolong it. So when do you use ice? Well, ice is important in the first 48 to 72 hours because that's okay. the inflammatory phase of an injury. What ice does is it decreases blood flow by vasoconstriction and thus can decrease swelling and some of the inflammatory mediators that can get into the area. It's important to do it 20 minutes every two to four hours for the first day or two. Then okay. heat's important. After the inflammatory phase, heat will bring more blood flow, bring nutrients and oxygen to the area, kind of flush out that inflammatory area and actually improve pain and decrease swelling, decrease spasm. And also what's good is massage it. Massage it gotcha. as well. Gotcha. Helps out tremendously. I never can remember the order. Ice, Ice heat. heat. You got got it. it. All right, next question. What's the best way to determine uh, whether your child is allergic to peanuts? That's a really important one. Well, it really is, and it's, a, it's actually a little bit more common than we think. About 6% of children less than age 3 have food allergies, and that includes fish and other things. Okay. But it is important. So family history is a good predictor, but the best way to determine it is by looking for symptoms after your child eats certain foods within minutes or up to an hour. The things mm. you look for are obviously the rash, the hives, the itching. Those telltale signs. You bet, but also there's nasal congestion. You can have wheezing, even vomiting and diarrhea, and even something as simple or as serious as blood in the stool. So those are the important okay. things you want to look for. If any of those occur, your doctor or an allergist can do more definitive testing to determine whether it's a true allergy. The good news is, is that most of these allergies do go away as the child grows, but peanut okay. allergies and fish allergies do tend to linger. So Tell you what, I don't know what I'd do without pistachios and peanut butter in my life. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a question for Dr. Saria, you can send it in by going to our website, WPTV.com. Click on the health link, scroll down, you'll be able to write your question there. Again, thanks so much for being here, Dr. You're welcome. We'll be right back.